Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, everything is the same. And that's because I decided to do another video only because I had the energy and I had the lighting. So I thought, why not? And this was something that like, these are a few things that have been on my mind lately. And I think some people could relate, you know? So um, yeah, so let's get into the video. So the first thing I, I wanted to talk about was just lately I've been really appreciating the people in my life and you know counting my blessings and there's so many people in my life that you know of course I love and I cherish and I thank them for supporting me and everything that I do and I don't feel that like I give them the attention that they really deserve or I don't you know spend enough quality time with them. I'm very much of a hermit so I go to work go to school and then I come home and that's it like I don't really spend time with my family and it's very sporadic which after having lost my aunt last year it made me realize how important family is and how you never know when your last day with them will be so you should just like cherish them appreciate them show them that you love them whenever you can so I've been really doing that a bit more lately like I've been taking my parents to the movies on the week during the week after work or like we just go to the house and spend time with them talking to them catching up and stuff like that but I just want to do more and lately I've been thinking of giving my mom like a makeover so you know getting her hair done her nails and feet done buying her a whole new wardrobe you know doing her makeup just to show her that I appreciate her and I wanted to like surprise her by also um, revamping her bedroom just because right now it's just like a basic room with like a bed and a dresser like it's nothing really like homey and I just want to kind of give her her own little oasis because my mom works so hard like anyone who knows my mom knows that like she's an extremely hard working woman like whether she's working two to three jobs at one time you know like she gives her all to her family and she doesn't really need much for herself so I definitely want to do some stuff for her and um just everybody else in my family, like my sister, she's about to have a baby, and I know it's very stressful for her, so I wanted to, you know, give her, like, a mommy spa day, you know, where they do, like, stuff specifically for pregnant women, and, like, do her makeup, take her out to dinner, spoil her, and stuff like that, and, of course, my other sisters, I want to do stuff for them, too, but I know they watch my video, so I'm not about to say what I have planned. But I just want to do more and show my family and friends that I appreciate them. So, yeah, that's just something that I've been really thinking about. And every time, like, I think about it, it just makes me so happy. Like, every time I think of the stuff that I want to do for them, it just, it, it makes my heart feel good. Like, I'm, because I'm showing them, expressing my love for them in, I guess, material things. But just, like, to show them that, like, I'm thinking of them, you know, and I want to do something good for them, if that makes sense. And another thing that I've been thinking about a lot lately is just like my blessings in life. Like I find that we're so quick to always point out things that are going wrong in our lives. We never just sit there and just say thank you for everything that we have. Like I, I have been going through a bit of depression lately just because of everything that has happened with my family. Like losing my aunt, struggling with school and stuff like that. But like. I never took the chance to like just sit and think of all the things that I was blessed for until recently and like just one day like well yeah plus like also I just felt like I wasn't where I needed to be in life you know at 26 years old I had a specific plan for myself and like half of the stuff I had planned just aren't right now so like I've been really down on myself for that but as of late I've just been you know taking my time sitting down and just like looking around me and noticing all the things that I should be thankful for like I have a beautiful home like of course I haven't bought yet but I don't even know where I want to settle down anyways to begin with so that's hard in itself but like I have a beautiful home I have an amazing boyfriend like we fight sometimes but like he's so supportive and he's just like he keeps me grounded and he also keeps me motivated to keep grinding and just be hungry for success which I appreciate him for I have an amazing family that I have such a close relationship with that it has been a struggle through my life because I never really had that close of a relationship with my parents as I was going growing up sporadically like I was a daddy's girl but then at point I was a mommy's girl and sometimes like through my teenage years you know I kind of just like separated myself from my parents and stuff but now like I have such a great relationship with them of course I know it helps that I don't live at home anymore but 
am thankful for my siblings, my little sister, like they're my heart, they're my world, they're everything to me and I just like, I am blessed to have them in my life because they keep me motivated and keep me driven to do the things that I do because I know they're looking at what I do and I know they look up to me so it pushes me to try to be a great role model for them, you know? And I'm just thankful for my job. Like, I finally have a job in my field, and that's something that I've been working really hard at, but I have a job that I love doing, and people are amazing. I'm just really thankful that I have a job, because I know a lot of people, like, they don't have jobs in their field, let alone some people don't even have jobs. So I'm just thankful that I do have a source of income that allows me to live the privileged life that I do live. Um, I'm thankful for my amazing friends who like understand me. I know I'm a horrible friend and I always tell people this only because I'm an introvert so I don't hang out with people all the time. Like I'll hang out with you once in a while but to, for you to see me more than once every other week or even once a month, like that's asking a lot. And a lot of people haven't stuck around because they don't understand that. Like when you first tell people, you know, I'm not that kind of person I'm not that friend that will go out with you all the time or sit and talk on the phone with you like they think you're joking or they're like oh I'm the same girl like I'm an adult I ain't got time for stuff like that but then when it actually comes time and they see like yo you don't actually do anything I'm just like I told you I warned you I'm not that friend like sometimes I will have like the energy to go out and hang out with friends and then for the most part like if I see you once a month and I text you once a week just to see how you're doing like that to me is a lot so the few friends that I have, they do understand that and they're very supportive. They don't make me feel like shit for it because they understand that it is my personality. And of course, I have been trying because, you know, it's a give and take with friendships. But I'm thankful for that. I'm just, I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for just being able to see another day and just have another chance at improving myself and improving who I am and just like making my family's lives the way that I want them to be. Like, having my parents retire in the next five years. Like my parents are both 52 and I want to have them completely retired in five years, which is the other reason that I work so hard, just because I don't want to see them work anymore. Like I feel like they've worked so hard their whole lives, especially my mom. Like I just want them to just enjoy the rest of their lives, you know. Um, uh, giving back, that's another thing that I really want to start doing. Since I was a child, I always knew that my purpose was, you know, just to, help those who are less fortunate than me or people who don't have a chance like I've always had a soft spot in my heart for like volunteering and going abroad and just doing things for different children in different countries or different people in different countries and I find that like at 26 I have yet to do any of that and there's always an excuse like oh I'm in school or oh I just started a new job I can't take time off and I'm I'm at the point that like I I just don't care anymore like yet yeah, next year I've told myself you know 2017 that's the year that I want to travel I want to do a lot of you know volunteer and humanitarian work I just want to throw myself into that because that is my ultimate passion like yeah I have my career but the one thing that will make me happy with myself and with the way my life has gone thus far is if I can give back to other people because there are so many people who are in need and it's just like if I can at least help one person and then they can help some other people and then the people that they help can help other people like it, it's like a domino effect so that's all i want to do i just want to focus on giving back and trying to help those who don't have you know the blessings that i do so definitely next year i want to do a lot of that like i want to go to haiti which is my birthplace and i just want to give back i want to help the children in the community actually i've been thinking about adopting a child from haiti or even like being like a, a sponsor abroad for a lot of children to like uh, finance their education and take care of them and stuff so that they can have a better life and they can provide a better life for their families, for their communities and so on and so forth. So, and of course I know there's a lot of things that I could do locally which I have been. I have been about to with people with special needs. This, uh, this holiday I want to do a lot of like um, food shelter stuff, food bank stuff, like giving back, picking individual families and just like giving them like, a Christmas, and the Thanksgiving, whatever it is, just like doing my part in my own community as well, you know. I also want to travel. Like, I find that I, in this day and age, we have no excuse for not being able to travel. Like, there are so many ways that you can travel. Swim. Swim. 
You can, you know, fly, you can uh, get on a boat, like, you can drive places down south or up north. Like, there's so many different ways that you can travel nowadays that there's no more excuses for why you don't see as much of the world as you can, especially if you have the means to. Like, I feel that, like, we should all, like, everyone should at least see somewhere different at least once in their lives. And since I was young, I've always traveled. Like, my family hasn't stayed anywhere with me for a long time. Like, we hopped around the Caribbean island for a while, like maybe St. Thomas and Martin, then we went to uh, um, the States, we lived in Florida, then we came to Canada, and in Canada alone, like I lived in Montreal, I lived in Toronto, I lived in Vancouver, I lived in Ottawa, and like, I just like traveling, like, it's something that I think is so important to your development as a person, just to see different cultures, different lifestyles, different places, it just opens your eyes, it humbles you, it just... I don't know, it makes you wiser in a sense. And I definitely want to do that, especially even when I have kids. I want to travel with my children and let them see the world and see how other people live, you know, how privileged they are, or this isn't just it. You could live wherever you want to. So definitely next year I want to do a lot of traveling, which again falls hand in hand with the humanitarian work as well. And like today I was sitting in my car and I don't know for some reason I can't pinpoint it, but I was just like, you know when you have moments where you're just out of the blue, just genuinely happy, just like your heart feels light, your burdens, it's just like you have nothing holding you down. You're just happy about life, happy with your family, happy with everything. And it's so weird that whenever I get like that, I always, I don't know, I'm always hesitant or like I feel weird because I'm just like, why am I so happy? Like, why? Like, because I'm so used to being so anxious and high strung and having bad things happen, like whenever I'm just genuinely happy, it, it always weirds me out but I think that like I need to get more used to that because that is how I should try to aim to be you know just happy with life happy with things and just not nitpicking at everything in life so yeah that was just something that I was thinking about today just because for some reason today I'm just genuinely happy I'm just like loving life if that makes sense another thing I've been dealing with is just like being overwhelmed and feeling overwhelmed lately like well not lately it's always been my personality like I've, I always overanalyze everything and I always overthink things and I just overwhelm myself with stresses and stuff like that and I, it, it's really bad because it does affect you mentally and physically and stuff like that like it has definitely played a big part in my depression and just my overall well-being and my um, productivity because like whenever I feel down or I feel overwhelmed like I just can't focus on any tasks and I always just like I have to take my stuff myself back and I just like I withdraw from the world if that makes sense and I don't want to go out I don't want to do anything I just want to sit at home and like wallow on myself pity which is something that I need to stop doing and um yeah it's, it's not a good thing uh one thing that has been playing into my for me, school has always been such a sensitive topic just because it never, it didn't go the way that I planned it to. Like, I started university a couple of years late due to, again, moving to Canada, like my school records and stuff got messed up. So I started university around the time that everyone else was graduating and of course, like, I didn't qualify for financial aid so I had to pay for school out of pocket. So that pushed me back some because I had to work to pay for school and I can't juggle both. Like. It's really hard for you to juggle working full time like 40 hours a week and going to school full time So I had to slow down on school to be able to work more so that I could pay for school So that pushed me back some more and then like last year losing my aunt like I had to take a semester or well, two semesters off of school because I could not focus like I really could not focus on school and I was getting into trouble because I was missing assignments or doing assignments wrong so like I had to for my own well-being and my education I had to take time off of school and when I went back honestly like I was just over it like I was just like you know what like I'm, I feel too old for this like everybody in the class is young and then like when the professors talk to you like they talk to you like if you're a child and I'm just like yo I'm an adult like I pay adult bills you're not like you know like it's just this I don't know, I just, I was over school, like I felt like I had been doing it for so long and it's just like, I was ready to be done. I don't know, I just was over school with everything that had happened and with how long it was taking, I was just ready to be done. So I settled, but 
I'll definitely be going back to finish when I need to finish and just taking my time doing it but also enjoying life as well and on top of it it's just like whenever you're not passionate about something it shows and for me like it started to show in my grades like I went from having straight A's and B's to having like some C's and stuff like that so I that just didn't reflect me so I, I didn't want to continue it unless I was happy in doing it and then lastly like I just I think a lot of people feel like this but social media honestly is the devil Social media will have you doubting yourself, doubting your life, doubting your relationships because there's always goals, you know, Instagram goals, relationship goals, house goals, education goals, best friend goals. Like there's always some superficial goals that everyone has or certain people have and people just look up to them like, is that where I'm supposed to be? Like, what am I doing with my life? If they had this, that, like you start comparing your life with other people and the one thing that I always forget is not everyone takes the same paths and again social media only shows you a few seconds of someone's life so of course they're just going to show you the good stuff no one is going to want to show you the bad things that happen in their lives so you never know what other people are going through so for you to compare your life to them like it's very toxic like it will ruin your life and it'll have you not appreciating the things that you have and also for me, I found that like it was taking up a lot of my time. So like I'd be on Instagram for hours on end. Like I'd look at my clock and three hours had gone by and I'm just like scrolling through different people's profiles and pictures and stuff and just like feeling worse and worse about myself as I scrolled past every single picture, you know? And I'm at this point where I realize that that's not healthy and it takes up way too much of my life. Instead of me watching other people's lives, I should be out there living my own as cliche as that sounds so I'm definitely thinking of just like cutting off the social media I did that once before and I cut it off for like two three months and honestly I was the most productive that I that I've ever been like all the time that I would spend and waste on Instagram and Facebook and all that other stuff like I was actually doing stuff and trying to achieve goals that I set for myself and I honestly didn't miss it like I just went back on because I was bored because I actually achieved a lot of the goals that I wanted to so I just had so much more free time on my hands so I'd be bored and then I just decided let me just go back on it but I definitely think that I will try to go on like a social media cleanse again just to you know just like get back to myself and get back to my goals and just like trying to enjoy life and enjoy the people and things around me, you know so yeah those have those are just a few of the things that I've been thinking about lately I know a lot of people can relate to them if you can or if you have anything to add yourself feel free to leave it down below and I hope this wasn't just a bunch of rambling to you guys although it seems like it was for me but uh, that's it.